Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ranlab. We pick up, um, <clears throat> chronology-wise, it has been five days since I've actually done the last recording, and, uh, yeah, we're still in the same bit, um, so we're just gonna move the wyvern back down to earth after putting that comms module on, and then, you know, next is gonna be the, uh, yeah, the living quartz module, I think, will probably be the next module we do, um, oh wait, yes, no, this, hang on, and we may have a delivery from, um, from one of our collaborators on this, uh, project, so we'll just go down to Ran Lab and see if it is, uh, if it has been delivered to us, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn as much, well, I'm going to get as much speed as I possibly can, just so we can get down quickly, and then uh, I'll do a about space and burn to slow down. I was honestly like, how much heat we generate could be really interesting. Whether or not I accidentally explode, because previously I went in quite slowly, didn't I? Uh, I went in very slowly, and I was completely uh, fine. If my get yeah, my game catcher, if the sound capture working, I hope the sound catcher is working. It should be. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm coming in very quickly. Is the re-entry mod just not working then? Because that would be hilarious. Oh gosh, I'm coming in way too fast. Let's slow the flip down. I can't even see where I'm coming to land. Where's the... Oh look, look, look! It looks like something's been delivered. There's a box there at the front of the... Uh, at the front of the base that wasn't there before. Yeah, but I think like the the drag of the actual um, thing is probably gonna be slowing us down a lot as well because of the atmospheric mods. Like the fact it's just got a flat panel literally zooming straight towards the ground is probably gonna be very helpful. I wonder if the re-entry mod maybe only kicks in if you don't have a speed mod, because that could be a good point as well. I just kind of combined it to another mod, which is like, there we go, that's realistic, but, you know, put the re-entry mod in. Not seen hide nor hair of any re-entry physics. I say that now, the ship's just going to explode, or something. Oh, we're coming in quite far out. Let's try and actually get this ship to land by the landing pad, because we've probably got enough fuel for maybe one more trip up, assuming whatever's been done or whatever we've got, is, uh, yeah. Uh, what have we've got, got is light enough? Okay, so let's just charge in here, and just very gently land on the launch pad. Here's the vein outspread of spotlights are going to come in really handy, because I can just, um, I can just line up the uh, ship quite easily. And um, come to a stop, come to a stop, right, okay. Right, uh... Okay, let's get to like... A hundred off the ground, roughly. Now yeah, I want to be pretty see. Oh, there! Look, there's an antenna on it. It says Opera module. Ah, fantastic. Yeah, because the uh, I've been five days. I've completely forgotten what the comms module is called. Ah, yeah, the comms module is called Fix. Of course, after the uh, fact, it's got way too many and. Uh, Oh, yeah, I'm going the wrong way again. Uh, after the musical uh, fix about the uh, wife of Henry VIII. Okay, where's the... And now, uh, yeah, we've got Opera, which I'm going to guess is probably Phantom of the Opera. Uh, right, let's go closer. Gently lower the ship down. Fly closer again. Oh, right, okay. 
Okay. Very gently down, 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 down. And engine cut off. And tanks. Wyvern tanks. Get armed. Okay, let's quickly uh, check where Wyvern landed. Wyvern's landed there. Fantastic. Right, um. Okay, we should probably head to the medical room as well and just quickly. Inventory wise, let's just refuel our tank before we go look at what the upper module is. Uh, okay. Let's go look out the front and let's have a look. So. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, uh, here we go. Just a. Uh, just a. Uh, wow. This thing's enormous. Right. Uh, reverse. Oh, wow. Quite a fast. Don't hit the front. Oh, okay, we're good. Whoa. This is nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, right. So, uh, whoa. This is, this is very swish. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, look at this. Oh, this is brilliant. You got desks here. Lockers. Okay, brilliant. We could have those loaded with supplies with parachutes as well. We'll need to load them. So we've got ladders down. Oh, it's got willis ducks. They're just for repairing conveyors and stuff. Very nice. That's excellent. Right, uh... I hate these... I hate these ladders. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, this, um... Whoa. Uh... I've got a nice, nice bit of flooring being put in as well. Fantastic. Brilliant. Okay, so this is the Opera module, which has been built by uh, Fox, who we saw earlier in the series. Um, he's also known by Commando Boys on the Workshop, and is most famous for the the, the Fenrir class destroyer, uh, as well as the Excalibur class heavy cruiser. And uh, he is one of the people who is joining me. Oh, we should probably turn the RCS off. Um, yeah, one of the people joining us on this little endeavor, um, and I've just realized other have named, so, uh, yeah, unfortunately, as he's on Xbox, he will not be joining us in game for this to show off his creation, so he gave me a tour in a private world, and, like, we just made a couple of modifications and changes, and, yeah. And that private world was hosted on one term, so obviously I could join. But yeah, this is going to be the bridge module, uh, which is going to go on the front. Um, and yeah, so I don't think really we should waste around. I think we should just uh, get this moved and we're going to have to figure out a way of... Okay, what we may do is this actual thing that um, we uh, got delivered in. Um, what I'll do is I will probably just take the module out, close the actual door, and, like, we'll leave it for the next person to come along, who I think maybe Viking, I want to say. Oh, that's, that's meant to be a, that's a spoiler. <laughs> no one heard that, no one heard that, no one heard that, it's fine, it's fine. Anyway, um, yeah, so now we're just going to move this to the actual Wyvern itself, and we should be ready to launch again. And ta-da! We are back! So now we've got it properly loaded onto this. I've also taken the liberty of uh, loading them with canvas already, the parachutes. I haven't loaded anything else because that's just going to go up in the main supply rockets that we're going to send up. But uh, yeah, now that's all on the launch pad ready to go. We're going to hope that the Wyvern's got enough uh, plus to mass ratio to get, get, get it actually up there. It should do. Um, but we're, well, we're going to find out. Right. Mo control. Oh. Ah. Multiple remote controls on grid. Uh, the opera remote control. Okay, we want to make this the main remote control. Right, remote control. In fact, all we have to do is get 
the Opera module into low Earth orbit. Because if it have a, uh, in fact, well, because it have an antenna remote control and it's got RFF on it. Oh yeah, that's broadcasting at max range as well. Uh, wait, hang on. Remote uh, access. Why the terminal? Can we just confirm that antenna is also on? Yeah, it is. Okay, that's good. Remote access. Wyvern want control. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to do Wyvern tanks armed. Wyvern tanks on. Right. Yeah. Now, okay. Three, two, one. Launch. Oh gosh, this is not very fast. Okay, we're gonna have to fully blitz this. Okay, we're slowly going up. Yeah, a couple of things just to say about this module that we're actually launching. Like, obviously, its full potential will be realised later on when we, uh, when, of course, it's in operation above the craft. But, uh, it does feature a couple of improvements. So, like, I have put searchlights in it to active uh, cameras so I can fully remotely interface with the actual ship like I will I can I'll be able to like look around the rooms uh, I think I have done that with the communications not sure I genuinely don't remember from the last <laughs> video I should really get uh, recording these in bulk more that way I definitely know the ship is going on anyway uh, yeah the other thing and I meant to include this on more modules but uh, I forgot if the is the fact it's also got tiny little cameras on the uh, on the top bottom and the sides so I can actually see a lot more of around the actual thing. And that is... Yeah, that's important. So that's probably something we're going to integrate a lot more with the uh, with the other modules. In the sense we're going to have uh, searchlights on, on the outside. So I can literally see outside and direct. I mean, obviously, like, it won't be fully necessary. Because I will be... Like, I will have some little craft... If you picture kind of like the ghost from Destiny, that's the sort of craft I will have, which will be able to just, uh, I'll just be able to fly around the outside of the station and navigate. Anyway, we're just gonna head up here. Also, uh, I think this will be in the plan at some point, if I'm gonna add some more like animation stuff, just to make it look a little more realistic and cool, because I have found a cool... Yeah, some people say it's a curved mod, some people say it's a cool mod, but I found like the cockpit and cryopod animations. Now, the cockpit's one I'm probably not going to add, but the cryopod's one I just saw that and thought, yes, we're having that. Anyway, we're slowly closing. Just burn the mat down if we can. Okay. Okay, we're now going to do a fuel cut off, and um, for now, and just cruise up. <sighs> if we could, we'll be using the uh, atmospheric drag to actually lower us down. Oh look, there, there it is already. Oh shit, we are coming in way too fast. Uh. Fuck, uh, brakes, brakes. Start braking. We wanna, we wanna go around it, we wanna go around it. Oh, fuck. I really hope I don't collide with anything important. Okay. Right. Okay, we've gone way past it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for our main engine. Uh, well, wait for the um, thing. We're gonna do main engine shut off. Uh, what? Well, not main engine shut off. We're gonna do a a small burn towards it of maybe 50 meters, and then engine shut off. Maybe more. We're gonna do... Yeah. 
100 meters. And we're now going to cut down to actually 100 meters instead of saying it was right, yeah. Okay, let's cut. Okay, we want to get as close to the if we can. The other thing we want to do with RCF is to on. Ooh, it's starting to fight me now. Okay, we need even closer. Even closer, come on. Closer, even closer, even closer. There we go. Right, we're about 200 or so meters off. Right, let's come about to the left. Right, okay. Now, how do we do this? We wanna... I don't even know which is the top and which is the bottom. That's a slight issue. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to angle it. So it is like this. And then, okay. Right, merge blocks. These aren't the opera merge blocks, are they? But they're not be, because then that are really screwed with them. Okay, merge blocks off. And we are going to move this back. Now, we're going to use the Y then as the actual as, like, guidance. First, we need to ascertain which is the top and which is the bottom. Oh, I think I did this with the door, with the door there being the bottom. So, here, the door should also be, yeah, the door also the bottom there. So, what I need to do is actually rot give the whole thing a full rotation. Okay, right, that's fine. Right, no access. Uh, right, no access. Where is it? Uh, large wood. Uh, where is it? Uh, front camera. View. Here we go. Right, info. Opera module. For now. Is there like a back camera? Top camera, front camera, left camera, bottom camera. Okay, there's that. Ah, here we go. Ooh. Okay. Move this back, okay. Depends, move it. Okay. That better. Something just broke. Don't know what it was though. Remote access. 
Wyvern 1. Ah! Though I've literally got it aligned with the bottom camera, which is not what I want. I need it, though I need the front. Though, front I need to fly back, rotate back, then reverse. The camera is literally the bottom camera. Great. Okay. Basically, do all your operations using the front camera. Why is that getting closer? Ah, oh, fine. What? Fox, have you fucked the remote? Okay, Fox may have fucked up the placement of the remote control. Oh shit. Fox genuinely may have fucked it up. Okay, we're gonna turn the gyro power down as well. Oh dear, that not being named correctly. That jar of OT down with a few. That main one. Okay, we may have to replace the... Oh no, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, oh right. Yeah, it's just the fact I try and move it up and down. I left the camera in the wrong place. That could be a problem. And something keeps breaking. As well. Okay, hang on. Okay, we may have to go in. Okay, that is roughly ready. What we're going to do is we're going to just cook. Oh shit. Go and quickly look at the front camera and see if it's been placed correctly. It hasn't. Shit. Neither of that. Fucking hell. Right. That's a significant problem. So we're going to have to do a lot of our manoeuvring via the, uh... Oh. Yeah, I forgot. Multiple remote control systems don't work like that. Okay. So we're going to have to do a lot of manoeuvring via just looking at Wyvern. Okay. Not like that. We wanted to go... So, there we go, like that. There we go. I mean, I'm going to do basically a full of her back. Oh, wait, no, we want to do that. There we are. Right. Okay, well, let's just see how that is. Why then? Ooh. Well, at least if they line the right way up. So, if I actually get the Wyvern camera aligned with the doorway, then I actually get the ship aligned with the actual camera then I should be okay. Yeah, at least the roll works. Yeah, so we want to go down. Want to move left. Which for me is down. And we want to move. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh gosh. Okay, so we want to do something like this. Move the ship down. Move the ship. Keep, keep moving the ship back. Need to. Okay, not touch the mouth and just move the ship quite far over. No, that's too far. Down. We want to move it down. Here we go. Right. Let's test that. Let's test that. Why then? Control. That's not bad. So it needs to go further, further down, and then reverse back. Uh, remote access. Oh no. Wait, hang on. Technically it's further up from the perspective of the module. So uh no, is it is it this? Oh shit. Wrong button. Stop fighting me! Bloody thing! What fighting me? I'm not connected to the thing, am I? Okay. I really have not bugged up any of the connections either. Uh, where is it? Why then? Control. I haven't, but some of the merge blocks are actually genuinely throwing a bit of a tantrum. Oh gosh. Uh, and also it's aligned wrong. Right, okay. Right, well, I think I'm just going to cut ahead to where I've actually got gone and got misaligned. So, uh, and then we'll reverse back and see how it goes. But, yeah, so we'll just quickly cut ahead. And we are back. Much, much later, we are back. We've finally got it aligned. Uh, Fox, for when you watch this, fuck you for placing the camera, because that took ages. Right, so, now all we should theoretically have to do is do an about reverse back, nothing should break, everything should go well, and we should be completely fine. Wait, let's just set the merge block, are oh, actually on because I have to turn them off. Right, okay, I'm just going to cruise gently back, I'm just waiting for the clang and just the sound of an explosion now. Oh, all with that contact? I can hear it wiggling. Oh gosh. Oh, with that with that connection. Huh. Ooh. Ah uh, 
that's what exploded. Part of the docking mechanism got fried by the RCS. Right. Okay, what we're going to start doing is we're going to make a to-do list of all the things that went wrong. So that when we actually send the astronauts up there, that is going to be their first job here. Let me get some paper. Right. Right, there we go. So, first thing is, uh, well first we're gonna, okay, opera module. Uh, so first we're gonna, right, um, okay, so, camera, bracket, front, uh, moved to more, to more, Sensible position. Sounds like the fucking manifesto of bin face, doesn't it? The je the camera on the front of the opera space was you should be moved to a more sensible position. Right. Um Okay, so that's the other one. Right, oh yeah. Um That's wait a second, is that gonna be on the top and bottom? It is it is, isn't it? Because the RCF is going to have been fried. Uh, oh shit. Came way too close. Oh, there's not an RCF on the bottom. Right, okay, so it's the top RCF. Oh shit. I need to move further away. Okay, right. Okay, top RCF back thruster removed. And docking clamp repaired. Okay, that's the first thing. Uh, comms module, I think. Oh, we need antennas added to the external. Right, for the comms module, which is six. Um, yeah, because I, I legit had specific places set out for them and then just never added them. So it's four antennas. To be added to externals. Okay, and uh, what fit power module, which is heavers? Heavers. Uh, what was it? Cameras added to solar array. Okay, so there is literally, before we even set off to go cruising around the universe, we've got a massive checklist of all the mistakes I've made to go through. Uh, anyway, right, so, let's confirm the docking link. Uh, so, can we actually remote control this? We should be able to remote control this thing now. Uh, why then one? It's not actually showing up. Why is that? Orion Space Station, is that it? That'll be it. Right, remote access. Ah, yeah, we should have full control. Right, open terminal. Oh no, that's the space station fat. Okay, remote access. Have we lost contact? We can't have done. What? But... Uh, how? How? There is a 50 kilometer range satellite on that. It must be one of these. Bit of orbital sat... This is what? Base station... That's why then one. Terminal. Yeah, this is the Y then. Right, so uh, we've got Round Labs, which is that one. We've got Orbital Sat, which is this. Orbital Sp Ah, here we go. Or Orion Space Station, here we go. Right. Opera. Okay, Opera stuff's connected. So, what we're going to do is we're immediately. Is this on. Yeah, it's on station. Right, Opera. 
Let's access all the opera stuff. Right, go. Opera remote control. Set of main remote control. Check. Opera top connector. We want to lock. Uh, and did I put all, in fact let's just search for connectors did I put all of them okay use for parking right okay do I need to turn uh did I do that for heaven as well oh I did hang on right okay there we go so the opera top connector is locked opera bottom connector locked okay perfect but all of these should all be completely locked oh that's the use for parking we need to turn that off out to use for parking as well if that no right so all of these should all be locked this all of these are together fantastic now if i go into a remote access and i go to control brilliant hang on if we grab all the search like so so what we want to do is going to do opera search like top in fact no we want the front camera first but we are going to replace that anyway but we want a search light top, we want that on control, opera search light bottom, we want that on control, and then fix search light control, and search light control. Okay. Okay, the only slight problem with the fact is that it, it is technically upside down. Because they're meant to be fitted on the ceiling, not fully to the floor. Okay, that's a slight issue. Oh, whereas this one... Why, why is it that the cameras are upside down? Okay. Unless they are meant to be fitted to the floor and not the ceiling. Oh well, these should work fine. So we've got all of these operational. Fantastic. Okay, so scroll down. Yeah. Okay, so the only module I can't actually see into is heavens. Well, that's fine. Well, we, we've officially done it. We've we've got three modules up there. Let's uh, let's go and have a look from the outside. Whoa! Look at that. That is a pretty cool ship. That is beautiful. Look at it. If we fly this side, then we can get like the welder system in as well and the solar panel. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, look at that. Right. Well, I think that's where we'll end this episode here. Thank you all for watching, and I will catch you in the next one when we're probably going to be designing and shipping up there well hopefully designing and shipping up there the uh uh the what is next is it living court no no it's the airlock one ah uh, yeah that oh that's gonna be fun the airlock one i think i'm gonna make in multiple bits because it's quite complicated um and may take a while to make but uh yeah anyway thanks for watching everyone and i'll catch you in the next one bye